This video will go over two concepts that people learning JavaScript often find confusing. Why is copying an object different from copying a primitive? Why is one copied by reference and the other one copied by value? And why is using the const keyword, which supposedly is defining a constant, giving us strange behaviors when, again, used with an object? If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. Let us use a visual example to make sure that we absolutely cement in our brains the difference between something being copied by reference and something being copied by value. Imagine that we have the following line of code, let object1 equal to an object num140. Imagine that we have an object which is then built in memory, so we have highlighted a few things in yellow indicating that somewhere in memory we have allocated a space for the object itself and for its values. And the next thing that we would then do is we would add a reference to an address location and simply point to it. This is a visual representation of what we were talking about before. Having a variable in memory which points to a given address location where the object itself resides with all of its internals. Now, what if we have the second line of code? Let object2 equal to object1. In this case, we would define a second variable, object2, and once again we would add a reference to it, and the value of the second variable would simply once again point to exactly the same address location. So notice, the object itself is stored in memory, in heap memory. We are not touching it in any way when we define variables, and we are simply pointing to the correct location so that we can find things there. So important, object1 and object2 are pointing to the same object address in memory. Now what if we add a third line of code, let num1 equal to 3.14? How can we represent this new variable? Well what we will do in this case is again we would define a third variable called num1, we will generate a value a numeric value and then we would place it over the num1 variable. If we then add a fourth line of code, let num2 equal to num1, what would happen? In this case we are copying the value of num1 into a new variable, again we would define a new variable, again we would generate a numerical value and then we would place it in the num1 location. Same deal as before. Notice that we are not referencing anything. The num1 and the num2 variables at the moment contain the same value but they are completely separate from one another. They are not interacting in any way. So let us summarize. If we are copying objects, we are copying objects by reference. Again, visualize that we have references which are pointing to the same location in that memory space, in the heap memory in, in the background. Whereas when we, when we copy things by value, we are in essence generating new primitive values and placing them on top of each shelf, on top of each variable location. There is important implications out of all of this. If we make a change to object one, it would be reflected directly in object 2. The reason for that is that when we make a change in object 1, we are actually changing what happens in memory. And the second object is simply referencing the same thing in memory, so it would tend to be reflected by the same change. Whereas if we change num1, the change would not be mirrored in num2. The primitives in this case are completely separate from one another. Let us use the same example to illustrate something else which people learning JavaScript often find difficult to understand, which is the relationship between using the const keyword and an object. Now if we have the following line of code, const object1 equals to the same object we had defined previously in the previous examples, num140, we can think of this constant as a cage which is being placed around the value on top of the shelf. Now what is important to understand here, and the bit that is important to remember, is that we are placing the cage on top of the reference to the object and not the object itself. And this is where a significant part of this confusion that people have actually comes from.
if we use a constant with the primitive numerical values we had defined on the right hand side, once again we can think of having a cage on top of the value, but notice that in this case the cage is on top of the value itself, not a reference to anything. So let us add a few more lines of code to try to take things apart and understand what happens. Now we had already defined a second object as a variable, object2, and we had said that it's equal to object1, i.e. the second object would have a reference to the same place in memory as the first object. And if we run the following line of code, object2.num1 equals to 40, what this would do is that we would substitute the value at the num1 property of the object in the background from 40 to 50. If we now call this value object2.num1, the answer would be 50. Now this is quite logical. But notice what would happen if we call the num1 property of the initial object that we started off with, the one that is defined as a constant, object1.num1. And in this case, once again, we get 50, we get the new value. So notice what happened here. Even though something was defined as a constant, we were able to change the object in the background. And the reason for that is that the constant has to do with the reference and not the object itself. We can push things even further. It turns out that we can directly modify the object that we defined as a constant. So if we run the following line of code, object one dot num1 equals to 60, and then if we call object one num1, we would get 60. So again, we have defined something as a constant, and yet we are capable of changing it. And the key thing here to understand is that what is happening is that we have placed the constant around the reference to the object, and not the object itself. The object is in the background in heap memory. So if we try to assign object one a new object, we would get an error but at the same time we are allowed to change and manipulate the object in the background freely while we have used a constant. So the const keyword makes the reference to the object immutable and not the object itself. There are other ways in which you can make an object immutable in JavaScript and this will be discussed elsewhere, but the key thing that we have to remember for now is that just because we are using the const keyword with an object, it doesn't mean that the object cannot be modified. If we would use the const keyword with a primitive on the other hand, we are effectively defining a constant. The reason for that is that the primitive value itself is associated with the constant and it cannot be changed anymore. So for example, with the constant on the right hand side, num1, if we try to assign anything else to num1, we would get an error. We are not allowed to do that because it is a constant. So notice what is the difference between an object reference, which is defined as a constant, and a primitive value, which is defined as a constant, and make sure you understand that well.